Welcome back to the next instalment on the Nanji model tugboat build. This is a interruption vlog um, in between the last vlog where I installed the court and I was then going to move on to installing the decks. Um, as I started to do that I kind of realised that putting the decks in restricts access around inside to do work on the inside of the hull and if anyone ever wanted to install a radio control system uh, it would be a bit of an issue for them. Um, you'd probably be able to do it but it'd be much much harder. So I had a look around uh, and I've actually purchased a radio control system to install the boat and give it some operational functionality. So in this vlog, which I think we'll call it vlog 6.5, um, I'm going to unbox this and show you what I bought. Uh, it's all come from a company in the UK, it's actually Howells Models, who are in Oxford. And I, I kind of purchased this based upon what I thought was the requirements for the model, uh, the Nanji boat model. And there's all my uh, invoices, you don't want to read them. Um, okay, so let's put the knife out of the way so we don't stab our silly selves. Um, the main controller, we've got some micro switches, we've got one battery pack and a second battery pack. Uh, you drive for the motor. Um, Charger, battery charger, uh, old servos, don't know which one to get so I've got a couple of servos, uh, or some drive rods, uh, ooh, ooh, a sound studio, that's a bit of fun for me that one. And then the actual controller itself, so the one I purchased is from Planet, it's a two channel controller with two auxiliary channels. So Nanji boat obviously has steerable core, which is one channel. It's got the drive motor, which will be the second channel. And then uh, it has a series of lights uh, on some of the masts and they've actually provided those lights. So I thought I would use one of the second channels on this to power those lights. We may have to employ a bit of electronic trickery to do it. Um, but, uh, okay, so, um, and then the final channel um, is what I bought the sound module for, which we'll get onto in a minute. Um, how do we get to this? Um, Alright, so there's the controller itself. Uh, see two channels. Oh, cool, they're spiking. Ooh. Mm, okay then. Uh, this cost around about fifty pounds. Um, comes with the little uh, six-channel receiver as well. Uh, you've got this little aerial there, and that's pretty much all you get in the box with the actual uh, transmitter and receiver itself, really. So that's not too bad. It's, it's, it's one of the cheaper ones. There's obviously much, much more expensive ones out there. A lot of those you start to get into helicopter controls and multiple controls and different things that aren't really needed for this little uh, fairly simple model. So you have to have a play with these things, don't you? Um, I've rigged him up on the bench here. So we'll switch him on and show you it all in operation. That's the Transmitter on, let's see, receiver on, and we can, I uh, need to get you out of the way don't we? So uh, steering is on this one, which you can hopefully see the servo operating. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that'll be the rudder control there. We've got the motor here, which is off of this channel on the left and then it also goes the other way a bit hard to tell, we ain't got a propeller to put on it 
that going in the boat. And then sound wise at the moment um, we can turn the engine on. Yeah, and that's the engine running. Starting up as we oh takes a little while to get going. Uh, and then what's really cool is as I accelerate the motor it'll increase in sound and in the frequency will go up as well so that's max and there is a volume control down here for the absolute maximum you get out of it and then when it stops it goes back down to idle um, and just for an extra bit we've also got a horn <laughs> uh, and then we can switch the engine off. And that'll die back down. And that'll basically be the system ready to go. The bit I have to add is another channel off the receiver with another one of these micro switches which I've got. Um, and then that will switch the lights on and off. Uh, but I've, uh, they've all got to be wired up yet. I think I've got to feed them through the mast somehow however I make that. Uh, so yeah, there is uh, pretty much functioning and all okay really. Uh, so I need to get this in the boat. That is going to delay getting the decks in, unfortunately, but I think it's just a must. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again when normal instalments will resume. <laughs>